I live on Rotterdam Hill up on Mohawk Avenue. You know where that is? No, but the map does, so that's fine. Robot man. Have some of this. Oh, you're actually faster than me. It's not going to work then, is it? That was fun. Yeah, let's run back to the car. Here we go, another exciting mission of getting a car washed. You drive like a gangster. Ha ha. That's how you deal with that. Welcome to a festive special game. I'm sat here, literally wearing a cardigan. I've just eaten a mince pie. I've got a cup of tea and a pair of slippers on. And there is snow outside. It's a rare thing these days. Have snow outside, but yes, I'm snug as a bug in a rug, cozy inside with Grand Theft Auto 4. A classic game that I have installed a snow modification for. Let's walk and talk. There we go. Ignore the residents parking only that's showing through the snow. There's, this isn't perfect, but it's pretty cool. So getting this game to even run properly is a pain, especially with mods. So um, I had to downgrade it using a downgrading tool that's installed a few patches alongside of it and a trainer, which uh, honestly I'm only using to lock the weather in place so it's more festive and seasonal, I guess, um, suiting the, the time and suiting the weather mod that I've installed. And then I've installed a snow mod and then I ran the game and I was having issues with cutscenes, cameras and cutscenes, zooming in too far. That might still be happening, but apparently that's locked to the frame rate. So a lot of these older GTA games have issues with unlocked frame rates. The, uh, the 3D trilogy is the same. Three Vice City and San Andreas are all the same. Um, where the frame rate being unlocked ruins the game, doesn't work properly. Um, so I've had to lock it to 60, F 60 hertz, basically, so it's 60 frames a second. And then I had performance issues anyway. I've got an RTX 3080, and I was running at about 40, 40 to 50 frames a second with slowdowns. So I've had to install a DirectX 9, I think it's DXVK, which is a DirectX 9 to Vulkan wrapper, I guess, and it's improved performance massively but it's killed the load times. For some reason, load times go on for ages. You're taking me to a backroom game where I'll win all the dollars we need to really see this town. Nico, wait for me here while I go inside to clean up. I have tested this a little bit. It's, uh, the, the grip is reduced. It's more in line with snow, but I've not, there are different handling presets that come with the, with the mod, and I've uh, left it one of the most conservative ones so that the game is actually still playable. Full disclosure, I actually hate the, the way this game looks normally. I, this game, when it came out, was groundbreaking. I enjoyed the hell out of it at the time, but I've not brought myself... Roman, it oh. looks like your money lending friends are here. Come on. That piece of shit is gambling our money in here. You cannot run from us forever, Mr. Woman! Please don't hurt the men after us, cousin. They hate me enough as it is. Get us back to the depot, quick! Shit! Oh! Ah. Oops. Jesus, oh, there goes the bonnet. <laughs> All right, cousin, I'll lose them. Sadanie, Taco Tesco. Tesco? Just like the old days, eh? So, yes, um... Ah! I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> so, yeah, the grip is reduced, but obviously anyone who's driven in the snow yeah, would know no. that that's not how vehicles handle the dead snow. They don't generally handle well unless you've got actual snow tires and stuff on them, so... But it's, it's fine. It, it keeps the game from being totally broken. Um, and the setting with the snow is much nicer. I much prefer this. The, the grim, green, brown, murky, uh, I guess, colour temperature of the game. Of another game. I find it depressing and, frankly, I don't like it. Everyone loves this game. Many people say it's better than 5. I think they're insane. 
Although it does capture this depressing... I mean, this is a, it's quite a depressing game. Frankly, it's a depressing game. But now it's a depressing game in snow, which is quite lovely. Right, errands to run. What do you think I'm, a bloody taxi driver? Well, yes, I am. That's exactly what I am. I'm a taxi driver, apparently. Um, this is a taxi, this is a taxi firm, and I am now a taxi driver. So there we go. That's a bit more realistic. That's a bit more like snow driving. I live on Rotterdam Hill up on Mohawk Avenue. You know where that is? No, but the map does, so that's fine. Thanks there for the go. lift, Nico. Yeah, thanks. Give me a call sometime. See you soon, Michelle. Let's go. Piss off. That's it. Let's go. I want to get to some more exciting well, stuff cousin, than this. I dropped the girls off. I know what I need to buy. I know what I need to buy. Oh! I need to not drive past the glow shop. That would help. And that is the perfect hat. Now I need a better coat. A warm coat. Cargo trousers. Yeah, mm, I'll do. Your wife will like this. Make you look very strong. <laughs> and I've got five dollars left, so that's done. Hey, Nico, it's Michelle. We met with Mallory, Roman's girlfriend. Yeah, I yeah. Remember? I'm asking you out on a date. I am sorry. I am still not used to how things work here in America. A date would be good. Here we go. Nico, leave the hat cornered in the court under the L train on Firefly. What does he want? Oh, I can think what he can possibly want. Or why he's be pissed off? Can you? <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's be reasonable. So, we actually have a choice here. I could just leave Roman and go and see Michelle, and the next time we see Roman, he's a bit beaten up. Um, but... I find the whole Michelle dating thing to be a massive waste of time. <laughs> so, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go after Roman instead. They think they can fuck me around and beat me up because there are more of them. Not any longer. Me and you, Nico. Me and you are going to show them fucking dirt and smashing my fucking stuff. Who does he think he is? That's the other thing about this game. The cars are, they feel a bit like tanks. Something they improved upon in uh, GTA 5 and was a big complaint with this game for a lot of people is the cars, albeit more realistic, way more realistic than they were in previous entries. They feel a bit heavy and a bit sluggish and a bit tankish. More so than probably a normal car, I'd say. I mean, they are big, heavy American cars, but even the small cars are a little bit lumpy. Lumpy? Sluggish. Sluggish. Stay the fuck away from me! You still think you're hard? Don't make me kill you. You shouldn't play with sharp objects, Darden. He dead. You want to keep going? I think he is now. That was particularly brutal, but I wanted to see what happened. If I, I can't I seem to remember, there might be a different dialogue with Roman if you actually kill him. Darden ain't a problem for you no more, cousin. Nice one, cousin. Drive back to the depot. These bruises are starting to pain. Oh, no. He just doesn't care. Okay. Shit, fuck. Lovely. I've, uh, I have to turn the traffic density down to about 80%, because at 100%, there's some weird shit starts going on. There's constant traffic jams, because there's way too many cars for, the, uh, for them to deal with, because the AI is not the smartest. It's better than it is in previous games, but it's not amazing. Maybe we could go to the uh, 
Fun fair. Yeah, great. Let's go. Love the fun fair. Actually, we call it um, carnival here. Just a little difference. Uh, whoop de doo. <laughs> Still a bloody fun fair, though, isn't it, love? What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. And drive as quickly as possible to get this over. I want to get to the fun stuff. The shooting. This isn't fun! Robbery. No, it isn't fun, you're right. This isn't fun. So I'm going to blitz through. You know, the carnival isn't open this time of year. Fun fair. I, I don't know if it would pass safety regulations anyway. Hey, there's a bowling alley up here. We should play. Cool. Yeah. Oh, let's go bowling, then. Let's go bowling very quickly. How are you enjoying the date? Do you like running? I love it. Let's do it. Keep going. Thanks for taking me out. I haven't been on a date for a while. I'm kind <laughs> of lonely here. I thought you were doing me a... Great, we're here. I'd like to play a few frames, wouldn't you? You want to bowl? No. Nope. Yeah. Right, You're we're done. Good, Nico. That was fun. Yeah, let's what run back to the car. Home? Also, a bit weird that she's so making me drive her car. many people here in Liberty City. No boyfriends or husbands or anything? No, I guess I'm married to my job. Get in! Let's so go. what are you doing here in Liberty City, Miko? You drive like a gangster. You're going to need to take this to the shop. That was nice. I'm really interested in seeing you again. Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. I'll give you a call. Please do, Nico. See you soon. Next time we'll go on a date at an athletics track. Oh, coming through. I'm waiting for you lot. Too slow. I'm impatient. See? Whoa! You fucking off. Whoops. I'll get there in the end. Can you take me over to Masterson Street? Masterson Street it is, Jermaine. That door isn't meant to be open. Wait here while I take a look. It's the Rosas. Help, man! You gotta shake these cops! Let's get rid of the filth. Oh, what? So what brings you to Liberty City, Nico? Roman, I guess. And some other things. I'm looking for something. And that's okay, the end of the conversation. Here. Off you go. Thanks, man. Keep looking after Roman, I. Right? Hey, Roman, I got your friend Jermaine where he wanted to go. Good, Nico. Thanks. I can talk. See you soon. Yeah, really soon. Fuck. I'm here. Whatever, man. Mohammed, what the fuck? Are... Oh, Miss Weinstock. No, no, not you. I, I, what can I do for you today? So it's funny how, even since 2008, he's got CRT monitors on his desk. His mobile phone is not a smartphone. I think we've got smartphones. No, it's an old fashioned phone. You have to go to an internet cafe to use the internet. You know, it's uh, 14 years, things have changed dramatically with smartphones, I guess. What a time to be alive, eh? All right, brother, follow that Dillon Street in Shotland. All right, there be the spot up there. Watch out for any bodies. Sure. I'm using the controller. I'm going to swap to the mouse for this because I can get headshots with the mouse. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and team. Right. Shit, Nico, get the blood shot. Right, team. Someone be in the ground. Easy peasy. Three headshots. Why am I still crouching?
Your recreation step on Nico. Righteous with that piece. I have had much experience. I think we can do some work together, Auntie. In the future, you know? I am always looking for work. If it pays. Here's my number. I could link up soon. So the controller's best for driving. The uh, mouse is, is best for shooting. But uh, keyboard is rubbish for driving, so I'm sort of swapping Thanks the two. Thanks for everything. You can keep the piece. I think you know if you use it better than I do. One look. It's getting more interesting now that we've actually got stuff to do that isn't just chauffeuring around people. Your cousin owes me a lot of money. If you don't want to make things real difficult for him, you are going to come to Camera's Bar in Mohawk. I have a word for you. Just across the road. Okay, go there now. Old bastard owns a china shop in the Campton Avenue in Dukes. Here you go. Don't hurt him. Just teach him a lesson. I don't need a bat to teach a lesson. Yeah, I don't need a bat. I've got a gun. Oh, I press left button to hail a cab. I'm driving a cab. I mean, driving is a very subjective term in this case, apparently. This is the place. You owe Vlad protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I so scared. What I need protection from? <laughs> Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now, I pay up! Get out of the fucking room! Yeah, same to you. You fucking blind? Yeah. It's like driving a bus, this thing. <laughs> this car's shit. Give me that. This isn't much better. Here we go. Yeah, this isn't better at all. This is the same. He's the biggest crook in the neighborhood. Lucky I don't tell his customers what they're paying for. That it? Can I go now? Sure. Get out of my face. I think this might be based on a Ford Sierra Cosworth. Come on, tough guy, get out of the car. Which what for anyone who was born in the 90s probably wouldn't know what that is. Get off! Mine! Mine! Let go! Okay, more work from Vlad. Let's do that first. Oh, he's dropped some money as well. I'm a total charlatan. I've, t I've stolen his car and I'm taking his cash. Nothing to see here. Wasn't me. But now one more peasant is trying to avoid pain. Who? Moskovsky jerk who owns the laundry in the Masterson Street. Go on. Do what you gotta do. But remember, you see a cop? You don't know me. I see anyone, I don't know you. Ho, ho. I have a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! Oh, great. Oh, no! Where? I want my blister. I'm gonna lose him. Lost me, Cozzy. Some of that. Have some of that light like, dinging. Have some of this. Oh, you're actually faster than me. It's not going to work then, is it? Have some of this. Gentle scraping. Pull over your van. Have this. Oh, that seems to work. Oh, no. No, he doesn't seem to care. Eat it. Okay, you want me to ram you? I'll ram you off the road. Well, I'm trying to. But this car's a bag of scrap, and it's snowing, so it's not easy. He's actually doing more damage to himself. Lots of little dings going on, but nothing. Yeah! That'll teach him. Why have you not paid Vlad the money you owe him? I'm going to. I've just been having the trouble getting it together. Vlad is an impatient man. I don't want that bag of scrap. Uh, classic car, classic car. 
Go with a classic car. There is a policeman back there. Let's hope he doesn't see me. Yeah. Something else I've noticed was replaying this is the police don't seem to give a Let's shit. Let's the laundry mat on. It's the mess. If you rear end them at high speed, they don't care. If you tap like them, they come after you. It's weird. You can be an intimidating guy. I am thinking we should be playing some darts together. We no. have not done this in Liberty City yet. No. no darts for me, cousin. I have other missions to launch. Cool, cousin. Another time then. Go. Oh, Saber GT. Love him. Oh, man. Fuck. Yes. You run away scared. I want this beautiful car. My favourite car in most GTA games, the Sabres. Shit. And the GT is... It's a, basically, it's a Mustang. <laughs> Stick it for the top of the car. <laughs> want some? Good. So, I need you to head up to Dukes and get a car for me. It's a silver police net. Go up to the platform. This is going to be a, hey, take the train tutorial. I, I, lo I love it a lot more, this game, when we get past all this shit. Oh, just walked through someone. I'm a Christmas ghost. I, it just looks so pretty with the snow mod. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to skip. I'm going to just watch this for a minute. It's beautiful. I said it's not perfect, but it's good enough. I think it looks lovely. In lieu of there not being many actual any good, well, there not really being many any good Christmas games, they were mostly rubbish. Adding snow to an actually genuinely decent game that has enough naffle to do with Christmas can give you that more festive vibe and it's awesome. I love it. Find and take the silver blister compact. Okay. This car belonged to Vlad. No, it's mine. Who asked you? It belongs to Vlad now. You should pay your debts. Why you ain't gonna jack Jimmy's car off him, son? Yeah, I am. I'm gone, mate. See ya. Oops. Here we go, another exciting mission of getting a car washed. Thrilling stuff. The car wash is always open. Exciting. I am literally never going to use that thing again. I mean, look, if it was like GTA 5 where you actually kept your car, then maybe. But when you're constantly stealing cars and cars are disappearing, get out, leave it, and it's, it's gone forever, you have to steal a different one, there's no point in using car washes. It's totally pointless. I'm taking that piece of shit. That looks perfect. Sorry, man. That's already knackered. It's an 80s beast. I need more drivers for the cab company. I'll pay you properly. Okay, then. Just call me whenever you want to take a fare. You can do as many as you like, Nico. There are always more customers. Hell no. Foster, the city does not sleep, yes? I want that Cosworth. I'm sure that's what it's built don't on. Make me it's a wing. It's that rear wing. What is happening? No, you don't. No, you don't. Hey. Why is Ivan going to rob my cousin? Because I want you to kill him. What? He's angered Mikhail, Mr. Faustin. Offended him. He thinks he's stealing some paperwork from her mom. You catch him and kill him. Okay. Oh, I've passed it. <laughs> Whoa! He's going really quickly. It's not weather for this. That frick Vlad making me kill this guy. Man! Jesus, he's fast. Does he not know it's snowing? 
Oh, he's got a really speedy car. I don't want no trouble with you! <laughs> what do I do? Okay, what's the decision? What what's the what what do I press? Please! Vlad told you to kill me, right? Get yeah. up! I'm not gonna kill him. You're never gonna see me around here again. I owe you my life, man. You're a good man. You're a good man. Thank you. How do I get off this bloody roof? Oh, there's just fire escape. Okay. Um, you're gonna mount the ladder? No, you're just gonna fall. Oi! Bastard, forgive me. Just for that. What was that, huh? He won't evade me. See, and this is what I was talking about. So the the Cosworth has disappeared. Car stopped for. So what's the point of having a car wash when your cars just disappear? Robot man. Robot man. Yeah. I promise I'll come into a phone on the car. A boy for creep before him can walk, you know. Yeah. Anyway, let's go for a little drive. Come. Am I taking this way? This herb don't do too well for my honor, my eye carnation. Two stones to drive. Awesome. You might not keep the windows closed. Hot box. Keep the gun down in the car. Hot box, see? It? I made a parent, I don't trust them. Go around the back in case one of them try to get jumped and run off with the ganja. Keep hold of this vehicle, we might need to get out of here quick. Fuck off! <laughs> Sorry, mate. I didn't realize he was going to walk straight in front of me. I was looking at the mini map. Finish them if them try to come out the back. I got the front covered. One left. And the cops. That will do. Let's go, man. I don't want to be no prisoner, Nico. Oh. I got them. You're a real bad man in a Nico. Respect. Found us about having in a metal spa. You lost the police nicely done, Rasta. There we go. No match for I and I. Here we be. Are you with me, brother? Yes. I'm going to put some road boy in the ground. Up on the boy. Check the window. Oh, yeah. there. Ah. They shot me for, man. Come on, brother. Jacob just shot me in the leg. It's starting to get more exciting now in terms of missions, more gunplay. Oi, boy! We talk to you soon. See you later. I'm sorry, it's an ugly city. Money. Might as well get paid. I mean, it was an accident. I didn't intend to kill anyone, but, you know. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that. When did the alarm stop? There we go. Now I'm going to go. That way. 
much more agile vehicle. Mallory. I think she's messing around with Vlad. <laughs> I saw his car parked outside her place the other day. You might let some Russian asswipe bang your woman, but I won't. Don't do anything stupid. Wait for me! Stay out here. Let the big boys have their conversation inside. I told you to stay away from Mallory. Ah, go away! And now Roman is upset. Now, get them out of come here. On, come on. That's how you deal with that. We're both going after him, Roman. Car's pointing the wrong way. You think Vlad won't come after us when I am chasing him like this? I have to end it. Here and now. Shit, I don't like this. Fuck, fuck. No, oh, I've already killed Darden for you. Didn't seem to mind that. I... Where'd he go? Keep your head down. I'm going to finish this. Stop, Nico! Shit! Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Fucking Yokel! You think you can get away with killing me? I guess I'll find out! You think this is worth it? You are throwing you and your fatty cousin's lives away for that bit of Puerto Rican chocha! I'm throwing your life away, prick! We'll do all right! My friends will track you down! You won't last a moment! I'll last longer than you will, shithead! Fuck you! I wish I could be there to watch Mikhail cut your peasant balls off! You're nothing in this city. Half Beach is a small place. My friends will find you. You were the stupid one, Vladdy boy. Nobody fucks with my family. What have you done? What does it look like? We're dead! No, he's dead. We're fine. <laughs> Put him in the river. Austin is going to kill us! Uh, shit! We should get out of here. You go. I'll catch up with you later. But I believe this is going to be the catalyst that's going to pull Nico fully into this criminal underworld. So there we go. That's the end of a chapter. There's still a lot of map to explore. Uh, I haven't even got to the second, to the middle or third islands yet. Um, wonder what they look like in the winter. I'll find out soon. But for now, that is it.